Well, Julie and David, Girls Inc. will host this week's second pop-up clinic here in North Omaha. Health officials tell me that they'll administer up to 500 doses of the vaccine this Saturday. When Girls Inc. saw the need for vaccines in North Omaha, they answered the call. There are a lot of people. A lot of arms that want the vaccine. They'll host Saturday's clinic, which is a partnership between Douglas County Health and Nebraska Medicine. Executive Director Roberta Wilhelm says they're happy to help an underserved part of Omaha. To make sure that that we take out some of the inequity and, and make it reach to a broader population. There's about two or three sites that we've sent staff out to this week to uh, look at. As more doses become available, County Commissioner Chris Rogers says the health department plans to host even more smaller clinics. As soon as more doses become available on a bigger scale, North is going to have the first drive through site. Everybody's got to understand, I think, and give us a little bit of grace. This thing is changing every day. We um, are building this machine as it goes. Rogers says they're even exploring the option of using OPS schools as clinic sites. OPS was not five days yet. They were still in 3-2 and they had some restrictions. So now that they've opened up five days and they've got their people vaccinated, they're a lot freer to work with us. Back at Girls Inc., Wilhelm tells me the National Guard advised them how to set up the clinic efficiently. You have to have a 15 minute waiting area after the vaccine. This makes sense for that and this is how we'll bring people in and this is how we'll distance them. They're used to these sites and they're used to making sure they're efficient and safe for people. Well, there are still a lot of appointments available for this Saturday, and you can get signed up by either calling the Douglas County Health Department or there's a link on our website, KETV.com, where you can register as well. Now, just to let you know that this isn't the only vaccine clinic that Girls Inc. plans to host. There is one coming up in the weeks ahead. Reporting live, Waverly Monroe, KETV News Watch 7. Great.